Number three, method number three here, the SBA, Small Business Loans Method for Raising Capital. Yeah. Talk to us about this. Um, well, I'm going to read you a little uh, definition from entrepreneur.com. Uh, okay. It says, a small business administration loan is a government-backed uh, uh, term loans that are available at most banks and commercial lending institutions in any given year. The SBA can guarantee tens of billions of dollars of loans that support tens of thousands of small businesses. Um, what it is is the SBA basically mm -hmm. goes to banks and says, if you lend money to conforming uh, clients, to clients that, um, if you lend money to, pe to uh, 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 people who are starting a business, yeah. and if they meet these certain guidelines, we as the federal government will guarantee the loan. Hmm. So if I'm the bank and I lend money to you and you go out of business, I'm okay because the, the federal government will back hmm. and will pay off the money that you basically owe, owe the bank. Hmm. So the investors, so the people who deposit their money at the bank, their, right. their, de their, their, their deposits are safe. Okay. However, if this happens too often, then the bank will basically not be in good standing with the Small Business Administration, right. and that practice will soon stop. Okay. So if you have conforming a conforming business plan, and you have all the documents and documentation that the bank needs, then you have a very strong chance of getting a small business loan hmm. approved by the Small Business Administration. And the banks are going to be a little bit more loose with the checkbook to write those loans because the money is backed by the right. federal government. So I, I think that we've kind of outlined what that pro is there. Um, you can touch on that anymore, but what's a con that we've got? Um, I think a con of that is that you do have to deal with the government. Okay. And um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's whenever you deal with the government, there's paperwork. Yeah. There's meetings. There's meetings about the paperwork. Right. There's forms. There's red forms tape. about the forms, and there's red tape. There's a yeah. lot of bureaucracy. Right. And so if you're an entrepreneur who's like, I just want to open up businesses everywhere, you know, all of a sudden you're going to have a real frustration because you're like, I have to go to another bank meeting. Right. And then another one. And then another one. And you might try to apply. It might take you six months. Mm. I, know I worked with one doctor. It took him almost nine months to get his documentation up to the conforming standards. Nine months. Yeah. It would have taken me probably three weeks. Hmm. But it required about 100 hours of work. Right. And so he wanted to space it out a few hours a day. Mm -hmm. So it took him, you know, nine months. Yeah. I know other people have got SBA loans in three or four months. But you okay. have to have a conforming loan. Got it. All right, now let's move on to method number four, yeah. the credit card method for raising capital. Clay, talk to us about the credit card method. Um, this is where a lady or a dude okay. will use their credit card uh, to finance their business. And if you are resourceful and you have a good credit uh, line or good, good credit standing, um, you can use this method without ever paying interest. And so mm -hmm. I guess a good example would be, I knew as a young man that I wanted to start businesses and I knew I had no money. Right. So what I did was I went on, at the time they didn't have this website, but I went on to Discover Card and I applied for a card, which I've had since I was, I think, 16. Hmm. And um, I built up a limit where at, in 2007, I think my limit, I think I could buy like $100,000 of purchases on my card at any given time wow. with 18 months no interest. Wow. So um, that is real talk. Mm -hmm. So now um, what you do on a credit card method, I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and buy stuff as indicated. This will be the debt. Okay. This is this paper. A lot of times the they call debt paper or notes, whatever. Yeah. So this is, how, this is the debt. Mm -hmm. And let's say it's 100000 I can have another credit card. And you want to have the other credit card set up, by the way, before you do this. Right. But then what happens is there's a no charge or a very minimal charge to transfer balances. Mm. So if this is a MasterCard... I can then use my Discover card, and in six months, after I've paid it down a little bit, I'll transfer the balance from one card to the next. Okay. Thus freeing me up for another 18 months. There you go. And every six months or so, I'll keep doing this. If I have a six-month no interest period, I'll just every six months, I'll transfer. Hmm. And so in uh, 2000 and like, I don't know, 2003, 2004, I booked, I think, 45 weddings on the same day. Wow. And I think I had six DJ systems. Oh. Or maybe 10. And so I bought them all on credit cards, just right. maxed out every single card I had, and I kept one for working capital. And then what I did was um, I charged the brides and grooms a deposit right. to, to, you know, as a down payment to reserve the DJ. And then when their wedding date came and I got the full payments, I just paid them off. Hmm. And I've done that probably 100 times. 